Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It was a record tying day today here in Waco. 106 degrees, our high temperature today. The record for today, 106 degrees. Set back in 2018, there's the average 97, so way above average. You know, yesterday we hit 99 degrees, so it snapped our string of 100 degree days, but we start over day one in a row right now. So far this summer, we've had 14 days over 100 degrees. We've got 94 degrees right now in Temple. It's 92 in the Colleen area, 95 in Lampasas. Gatesville checks in right at 93 degrees. The temperature is just as hot down in the Brazos Valley. College Station, 94 degrees. Our heat index jumps it to 97. Feels like 93 right now in Mahia, 90 in Comanche. And the current heat index over in Lano, right at 91 degrees. You saw what our average high temperature is, 97 degrees. <laughs> We're not even close to that. And this is going to be at least for most, if not the entire week, end of the weekend. You can see 106 tomorrow, 104 on Wednesday and Thursday. Even over the weekend, temperatures should still be in the triple digits here across our area. Rain chances, not real good. That is for sure. And of course, we need that moisture. Looks like as we hit the weekend, we'll have slight chances. Just a 20% chance on Saturday, 30% chance on Sunday, and back down 20% chance, so uh, you'll still need to water the plants and the yard, that is for sure. Our satellite picture shows pretty quiet conditions on top of us right now. Any rainfall has been associated with this frontal system, but it's well to our north in parts of Kansas back into Missouri. Now, even Oklahoma has been seeing some scattered showers and storms in the western part of the state. That's mainly about it. Take a look at our region, though. We've got that upper level ridge right on top of us. That's what's giving the clear skies and also the very hot conditions here across the region. So here's the forecast. We're going to keep it clear by midnight temperatures back into the 80s in most spots. There could be some upper 70s overnight tonight. We'll watch a little moisture kind of creep into the Brazos Valley. So a few clouds, especially off to the east of I-35, but we're still looking pretty quiet. Very warm to start the day mid to upper 70s as we hit lunchtime already climbing into the upper 90s and lower 100s and yes another hot day on tap for tomorrow we're going to be in the mid of uh, 100s i'd say between 105 and 110 should do it for highs which is again why we have that excessive heat warning in effect for our area we'll try to cool it down here late tomorrow night into wednesday but again any moisture that uh, starts to creep into our area on wednesday will be east of I-35 down toward the Brazos Valley. We're still talking temperatures in the mid 70s as we start the day on Wednesday and then throughout the day. Once again, triple digit heat across the board here. You factor in the humidity and again, that's why we have those advisories and those warnings across the region as temperatures will be well above normal in the triple digits. Tonight's forecast though, mostly clear skies. We dropped to around 79 degrees and then mostly sunny. Another hot day tomorrow. I'm going 106 for the high. Our heat index at 110 degrees. I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? Here's the Daniel Stark long range 10 day forecast 104 on Wednesday and Thursday. You can see those lows in the upper 70s. There's the chance of some rain as we hit the weekend. But like I said, don't hold your breath on that, that is for sure. And then next week, we're going to keep the triple digits right on through next week, as well as uh, those nighttime lows in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, 103 tomorrow, 102 on Wednesday, 100 Thursday and Friday. Hey, look at that. We'll be in double digits on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. 99, Adam. Not bad, huh? And then uh, temperatures right back into the 100s there starting on Tuesday, although, you know, it's in the upper 90s. You factor in the little higher humidity, the higher dew points. Mm -hmm. It's going to feel at the same as you're going to be feeling 110 say, degrees out west. So I won't have to get my coats back out. <laughs> no, just keep your swimming suit ready to roll. Yeah. Find some places cool to go to. Find a, a watering hole, as they say, right? Or a splash pad.